So, this paper landed on my um, Twitter, WhatsApp, uh, everywhere I can email, Slack, there are lots of people who are talking about this particular paper. Um, one of my friends is an author uh, and uh, I thought I will read it and while reading I would also record it so that um, it becomes content <laughs> for my YouTube channel. So, Power Analysis in Health Policy and Systems Research a guide to research conceptualization. So, uh, I mean, power is something I've, I've uh, written about in the past in my blog, um, but I'm pretty sure uh, there's a larger discussion about power in this paper in when it comes to systems and health policy. And um, so this, this um, this seems to be a really good uh, uh, overview. Uh, let us read the abstract. Power is growing area of study for researchers and practitioners working in the field of health policy and systems research. Theoretical development and empirical research on power are crucial for providing deeper, more nuanced understandings of the mechanisms and structures leading to social inequities and health disparities placing contemporary policy concerns in a wider historical, political and social context and for contributing to the redesign or reform of health systems to drive progress towards improved health outcomes. That's true. And the less explicit analysis of power remain relatively infrequent and there are no comprehensive resources that serve as theoretical and methodological study much. This paper aims to fill this gap by providing a consolidated guide to researchers wishing to consider design and conduct power analysis of health policies or systems. This practice article presents a synthesis of Theoretical and conceptual understandings of power describes methodologies and approaches for conducting power analysis, discuss how they might be appropriately combined, and throughout reflects on the importance of engaging with positionality through reflexive praxis. Expanding research on power in health policy and systems will generate key insights needed to address underlying drivers of health disparities and strengthen health systems for all. So, um, uh, this seems to be kind of a activist scholarly uh, write up uh, from the abstract. Uh, of course, uh, it's Creative Commons license, so I think uh, making a video of it is also fine. Mm. Let's see the authors where they are from. Uh, College of Public Health, Australia, Brooklyn, Public Health, Canada, USA. Very interesting. So, um, some from Chipmar, some from Simpram G. Okay, so, um, Summary box, analyzing how power shapes health policy and systems is critical to identifying underlying factors, driving health disparities, health system challenges and societal inequities. Okay. Power is complex to explore conceptually, theoretically and methodologically and explicit analysis of power in health policy and systems remain relatively infrequent. I see. There is no consolidated resource that provides health policy and systems researchers with an empirical, theoretical and methodological starting point on power. Interesting. <laughs> I suppose Marxism is probably one of the uh, uh, starting point on power, but maybe uh, health policy system researchers don't use it maybe. We introduce a new framework for identifying and defining discrete areas of inquiry for power focused health policy and systems research. Uh, theoretical and conceptual understandings of power are summarized and linked to a selection of methodologies and methods. Illustrate examples of combining theory and methodology to analyze different levels of power. Expanding research on power and health policy will now occur in Okay. Interaction power is defined. Let me increase the size. Power is defined as the ability or capacity to do something or act in a particular way and to direct or influence the behavior of others. That's true. Relationships of power shape societies and in turn health policy, services and outcomes. 
yeah we know that from how powerful people uh, set policies decide on services and even to a large extent influence the outcome power dynamics or the relational power that manifests in the interaction among individuals and organizations also influence health systems or the organizations people and actions whose primary intent is to promote restore or maintain health so health systems is defined as organizations people and actions whose primary intent is to promote restore or maintain health and power dynamics plays a um, influence on this the universe of power dynamics that are pertinent to the study of health policies and systems includes diverse types and locations of policy social implementation and political processes in its of power dynamics in hpsr includes policy social implementation political process power dynamics have also influenced health systems planning and research by defining what is seen as health system and the translation or adaptation of health systems models across distinct geographic contexts over time um okay so this probably means in different geographic uh, context um the power has played a role in what actually gets implemented what gets studied what is seen as part of a health system of that studying power is as a core concern of researchers and practitioners working in the field of health policy mm, in a, which is interdisciplinary problem driven field focus on understanding and strengthening multilateral systems and policies accelerating theoretical development and empirical research on power in this domain is crucial first it provides a deeper nuanced understanding of mechanisms and structures that lead to social inequities and health disparities yeah um we could assume that uh, i mean even before reading the paper we could assume that people who have less power have um, poorer health and you know they are they suffer from social inequities second it reveals historical patterns entrenched in health and social systems allowing contemporary policy concerns to be seen in a wider context and lessons to be drawn from these trends <clears throat> actually when when we put these two sentences together it uh, the thought that comes to my mind is if um historical patterns of power allowing contemporary policy concerns to be seen in a wider context and lessons to be drawn from these trends okay there is a um, there is a tangential thought i'm having in relation to uh caste gender etc and power and uh, uh maybe i'll talk about it later but uh, it 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 would be interesting for us to compare um whether <clears throat> power is equal to uh privilege caste or gender or um social economic god any kind of privilege uh, let's see at the end of the paper uh, third analyzing power can contribute to the redesign or reform of health systems to address imbalances and progress towards improved health outcomes yeah let's uh, let's just see the <laughs> reference on that one glossary there is some problem for the health query show global intervention to lives of other people analyzing power in politics in health policies and systems okay this uh, uh i i haven't gone into the references but uh, let's just take the authors word on um power being so useful as a lens studies incorporating examination of power in public health and hpsr have gradually increased in number including for example analysis of accountability political prioritization commercial determinants determinants of universal health care state sovereignty and health agenda and the less explicit analysis of power remain related in fact lack of a power specific lens may reflect the continued dominance of biomedical and behavioralist approach correct um in limitations stemming from political economy of research funding 
and reluctance among institutions in level 6 7 that are enrolled in uh, perpetuating existing power dynamics that's a super interesting observation power is also complex to examine conceptually theoretically and methodologically seminal publications providing guidance on different aspects of power research include uh, paper health policy analysis reader i think i've read this um Lawson methods you don't participate in action research or maybe i've read this i don't know which one i've read Recent is all the old power conceptual overview of power. However, there remains there remains no complete resource that can serve as a theoretical methodology starting point. Okay, this paper aims to fill this gap, building on the above mentioned resources, but providing consolidated guide, recognizing expansive interlinked nature of power relations. We focus on something on different ways to research power, also engage with literature of social determinants and determinants impact help. This project emerged from social science approach for research and engagement. shapes working group uh, shapes members with interest in power and richard wagner can request other practitioners recognized experts can take many forms no credit was but some participation at super because uh, they are themselves talking about how um, our own power dynamics play a role in perpetuating this so that's good uh, willingness contribute group was ultimately comprised of research from academic institution research organizations in both global north and global south all of whom have experiential knowledge of assessing negotiation power in health systems this process developed over nine to members first prepared outline uh, there are lines in event second theory methodology for group may volunteer to work on a sections literature was sourced working group regarding section drafts review or only solution which is related to by choice conception is regular okay that's the methodology doing power analysis and health policies and this paper lines key considerations paper in three section first section starts by discussing identification of research topic and presence three or arc empirical sites or discrete areas for for power focus starting point for study is providing researchers with ways to reflect on and refine the research question this section also highlights researchers positionality and its influence on the whole research process second section provides theories of useful is uh, finally third section we have been did selection methodologies considers the usefulness in the context must be selected in comparison and research personal and i'm there the ideas presented in paper apply to all geography countries however we draw largely on hpsr literature from low income and middle income countries mm identifying a topic so this is section 1 power is imposed negotiated and contested in diverse ways in the context of health policy formulation and implementation and health systems function research into power in the field of hps generally focuses on how the expression of power enables or blocks health system change or policy implementation and what types of power are implicated from these two broad areas of focus we discern three main sides of empirical work on power in the health policy and systems field recognizing that these three sides overlap these are actor relationship and networks sources of power societal flows and expressions of power in figure 1 we locate each of these empirical sides of power around an adapted version of policy triangle this figure highlights that applied research on power cannot be conducted in isolation from the actors context content structures and processes of the policy by demonstrating the link between actors context and structures and broad areas of power so the three empirical sites are intended to provide a point of departure for the researcher to consider what is issue or topic of interest so actor relationships and networks sources of power broader societal flows uh i don't understand this actor relationships and networks actor probably is a uh, stakeholder kind of person sources of power broader societal flows and expressions of power mm. there's a context political economic environmental historical cultural context and then there is content governance types health system service 
equity as efficiency, choice as universality, social protection as a responsibility. And then process agenda setting, policy combination, resource allocation, implementation. Actors at global, national, subnational front line, who makes influence, what forms of power, how do they interact, whose interests are in the group only. Okay. Three empirical sites of power research in health policy and system. Okay, maybe when I read this, I'll understand. The role and manifestation of power in actor relationship and networks comprise an important site of empirical research on power in HPSR. We list this site first because we understand health systems as social systems, fundamentally shaped by values in the relationship of the human and organizational actors. As illustrated in the central green triangle, questions about power relating to actor relationships and networks include foundational inquiries about which individuals and organizations make and influence health policy and system decisions, how they relate to one another and why. Super. So basically, actor is about uh, uh, is it the government, is it uh, think tanks, is it power, um, you know, um, organizations like uh, um, Niti Aayog, NHA, um, <clears throat> I won't name certain policy organizations, uh, certain tech organizations who push for technology in uh, policy. So, um, uh, or uh, who has the power, who, who are the actors, um, international funders um, like Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation or um, uh, all of these, who, who, who are the actors and what are the relationships between these people. I think that's what actor relationship and networks mean. Now, sources of power. Uh, substantial body of these directors understanding how actors draw on power from particular sources. Source of power thus represent a second important grouping of research on power. Some methodologies, particularly those based in political science and economic theory, can describe and problematize key sources of power such as capital, technical expertise, political and bureaucratic posture influence, forms of cultural capital and power gained from title education knowledge. The Sultan research can provide analysis regarding which actors are impacting processes, from where they derive their power and how their actions impact policy and systems. This empirical side focuses our attention on drivers of the drivers, surfacing the institutional organization attributes that provide a fountainhead of power in HPS. Of course, um, this need not just be applied to national level policies. So, uh, policy, health systems are there at micro level also. So, if there is a local PHC, um, who is uh, the, the PHC medical officer might have a title and some power from that but then um, there might be it might be a PSC run in a PP, PPP model where uh, uh, the private organization manager uh, has more power uh, but then technical expertise can give some amount of power so there's so many sources of power of course money is power uh, Oh, not this one material capital this money is power uh, so that's that empirical side three societal flaws and a third empirical side of power research health system related to societal flaws and expressions research on the exercise of power shows how power is expressed leveraged and experienced to impact health policy and systems and ultimately health inequities reflecting the intersection among context actors and structures research related to Laws and expression of power can generate insights regarding how formal and informal relations shape health policy making. The impact of willing adults regarding health policy on service may focus on ways that health policy and system. Groups accept evidence about health systems that dictates of colonial medicine and colonial practice. So, what this probably means is that even if there are some, say, uh, say take Kerala. <coughs> Kerala has a, right now at least, uh, there is a communist government. And uh, if uh, if someone with a lots of material capital goes in and tries to implement uh, influence uh, health policy, there will be lots of uh, ideological opposition from the ground uh, about how um, capitalists should not influence um, health policy and things like that. So there will be lots of uh, opposition and. So, societal flow kind of regulates uh, various sources of power. 
So that's what this one talks about, I think. Addressing power within the research process, personality and influence. In the process of issue identification throughout the research process, it is critical to recognize the contested relationships of power that shape research itself. The nature of evidence in the fields of global health and health policy and systems research is contested and the funding of evidence is politicized. Uh, so basically research itself is a mess. If anyone says that science is neutral, science is not political, um, then just ask who is funding uh, science. So. Uh, uh, the funding is always political, right? Uh, the nature of evidence in the fields of global health is contested and the funding of evidence generation is political. Researchers, whether investigating power, must be willing to consider their own role. Health research broadly tends to reward in professional status, resourcing and publishing, positivist and utilitarian approaches over humanistic and relativistic or interpretive ones. This is a very, very, very interesting statement because we have seen where uh, policy think tanks, uh, um, you know, kind of uh, use um, utilitarian uh, positions to get more funding, to get accepted, to to get uh, uh, to get a seat on the table. Um, take people who take uh, uh, humanistic uh, uh, approaches of, of are often sent uh, are, are called anti-nationals or, or uh, sent outside so uh, that's a very important one uh, and biomedical knowledge or other forms indeed the personality of researchers is present in many forms of power and privilege that conditions them from the issues they are analyzing researchers professional personality in the political economy of global health as well as their individual lived experience and attributes relating to race caste gender can significantly influence choice how should researchers engage with this? There is no straightforward mechanism. Instead, building on work of we offer a set of questions to guide um, reflection on power as it impacts a given research project. Researchers should consider for whom they are designing and conducting data collection analysis. How does this influence bad habits? However, discussion of power dynamics is a manifest in politics, social norms, and always not straightforward. Those who are bought into collaborative research process. When health service funders might be uncomfortable and explicit focus, shining light on power asymmetries could create. So <laughs> one of the biggest problems is that the researchers who understand this and uh, are willing to do this are already, um, you know, kind of, uh, 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 <laughs> kind of, they are, they are the ones who are willing to question power structures and things like that. So people who, <laughs> who want to use power and uh, um, not uh, not really worry a lot about any of these won't really care about whether there is a set of questions or not because um, anyhow uh, let's assume that people are going to be good why are you interested in asking this is what do you expect who's part of research team so these are I think there's some standard questions what is the mechanism of capturing descent alternate views how do you account for differences in power? This is nice. Who is including the analytical process? How will you communicate and share the outcomes? Okay, I think this is a bit about uh, how do you make participatory um, research. Conscious nurturing of critical reflexity within all states of research is process. Uh, however, analyzing power while well, is maintaining awareness of power relations. These questions and process demand a more deliberative, bottom up, time consuming approach to finding answers that is often enacted. Prosper research should factor this time since political economy create incentives that undermine reflective, inclusive, and transparent approaches to defining and answering. These considerations should be taken into account. Okay. So, refining research question, three empirical sites for launching power for considering and use of power in equity, moving from top interest uh, consideration, research must know their epistemical foundation, theories are broad, relevant, concurrent, method, and analytical. Okay. Theory helps to shape what we ask about power. This has implications for theory application with the end goals of equity and justice, often informing epistemological and theoretical positions. Uh, some theories are foundational and address the nature of state society, others are operational. 
entire research team should consider guiding principle Applied interest may consider images such as PowerCube, Converse Research in a deeper theater national income from consider Max Weber's source of authority. Weber. Weber has something to do with uh, capitalism or something. Yeah, I don't know. Anyhow, HPS as a field has developed in dialogue with theories of power from diverse disciplines. Um, originated in high-income countries. Many of these series are developed in 19 well described macro process that are still silent. Professor Mobile, some scholars develop critical theories to analyze critic power. Theories dominate origin from feminist first called Marxist theory. Oh, Marxist is mentioned. Feminist. Critical race theory. Have been used to of health. Many kind of critical they focus on intersectionality of systems, intersectionality of systems of subordination. Researchers have begun to suggest ways of playing these theories. Post-colonial literature have applied extensively in it, but have increasingly been signed discussions how to decolonize. Other frameworks, particularly those from public policy studies, uh, in table 2, we provide an illustrated list and brief explanation of influential theories of power that have been formed or been applied to studies as a limited organized and approach to describing this field, you know, capture the full breadth of complexity. Key theories, three phases and dimensions of power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Foucault. Okay. If Foucault is mentioned, then this paper is super, I guess. <laughs> everyone, everyone in sociology has to mention Foucault. Uh, taxonomy of power, power cube. Blah, 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 feminist theory. Subaltern studies. I don't know. Is Ambedkar mentioned? Pairing with methodology. Different theories are better suited to analyzing power asymmetries. Theory pot theories with potential for exploring actor relationships may include blah blah blah. Uh, okay, so this is telling where to apply which theory. We will not look at it now. While theory helps shape what we ask about, methodology shapes how we ask. Theory helps to shape what we ask about power. Methodology shapes how we ask it and how we interpret. Below we provide an interval of 10 methodologies. Organization under uh, Context of resistance, selection of methodology should also consider whom the research is conducted, whether the aim is generated or the different theory summary of this may be found. So, we can use actor, social network analysis, stakeholder analysis, case study, design, political economy, big data analytics. Big data analytics? Okay, interesting. PAR, discourse analysis, historic analysis. Empirical science is meant for research power and health policy and systems. So this is research of methods to identify. Table to provide illustrating some possible combination of research question theory. To the inclusion of table to research questions at a different level uh, is intended to demonstrate the breadth and potential key point is many valid combinations. <coughs> okay, let's look at example and then how does the degree of participatory leadership style among hospital and district health directors affect hospital staff roles in accountability? So we can take this uh, theory and use this kind of methodology. How does Shakespeare communication mentorship program foster health advocacy and political capabilities within a racially diverse community of commercial sex workers? Okay. Okay. Okay, now now is when I'm actually getting lost because there are lots of theories that can be applied and lots of methods. I mean, eventually it is always going to um, just replicate the author's uh, understanding of these theories. Like intersectionality, uh, there are many ways of understanding intersectionality. Uh, I suppose, I don't know, um, 
Anyhow, uh, let's look at MISO. What we should social networks of public and private healthcare providers differ in terms of relationship with state level health authority? How might these differences affect the introduction of a regulatory regime for counterfeit antibiotics? Oh, for macro. Now, ah, this is the issues. Okay. What attributes of social networks and groups? Uh, information advertising on healthy food. Hmm. <laughs> it's nice in one way because um, this helps uh, us to expose power, the role of power. I think that now I get the point of this paper. So, how do we expose power and power dynamics and power, um, um, power, the role of power in uh, social inequities, in health inequities? We can use uh, these theories and uh, use these methods to show these power um, uh, power differences, power dynamics have caused these kinds of uh, um, effect is what uh, um, so yeah so take this one for example uh, for a disease like type 1 diabetes. Um, how does the discretionary power of frontline health workers influence implementation? So, if we trust, uh, if we trust ASHA uh, or community health workers who may not have an MBBS degree or uh, a degree like that to uh, to deliver care, and we give them insulin syringe and give them the uh, the 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 power to. Uh, adjust the dose and things like that then they might uh, that might in, in, in influence the outcome of how well diabetes is controlled so these these are really useful uh, I think this this is a very uh, very very um, good uh, that's what makes this paper so good uh, and so widely shared because it uh, it basically gives you a plan of how to go about uh, studying power and reporting on power differences and reporting on the effects of power and you know disrupting power basically so uh, I think this is a very very activist scholarly kind of uh, uh, paper um, useful methodologies so I'm just gonna skip some of these when you used to study health policy shape because I think I've understood what they're trying to say uh, Big data analysis examines high volume biological income and we have information for single just large cohorts. We can uncover parents' health causes, health policy, health system function when applied in conjunction with parents. Big data analysis will be important for mass trends of parent experimenting. Yeah. Private medical products will promote unnecessary medical interventions. Yeah. Super. So. Conclusion. Let's skip to the conclusion. Uh, more research and power is needed. Linking empirical inquiry theory and methodologies with attention personality to strengthen the rigor of such research. Through multiple stages involved, a range of theories and methodologies that may be used in developing study focus on power and health policy. It also seeks to push the HPSR field, challenge the political economic research, and destabilize. <laughs> See, it's actually to disrupt uh, hierarchies of knowledge. Uh, to hire, disrupt not just hierarchies of knowledge, but I think. Uh, uh, hierarchy of power itself uh, honestly about how power. Um, through the panels of power and health policy we increase researchers to expand the boundaries of how we may address inequities of health to surface new insights theories and approaches pertaining to power and ultimately contribute to more just world I think that's a wonderful paper because uh, 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 it's, it's a blueprint for activist scholars to uh, how to wield uh, your um, scholarly uh, skills, uh, your academic skills to to address some of the inequities in the world, and uh, uh, these are the these are the ways to kind of um, the this table three here, table two here, and um, let's say table three with examples. Um, 
are kind of super useful for uh, figuring out your way forward in some of these issues and problems. So I think uh, um, if you get time, you should probably read this paper and uh, look at it in depth and much closer.